we invite you to a live online satsang with Maharishi Kapriti this Sunday. To know more, click the link in the description below. Namaskar, Maharishi. Namaskar, Derek. Namaskar. Thank you for for being. Thank you for your comforting voice. <laughs> So I've just discovered you recently. I think I've been having Kundalini symptoms. Actually, it's been coming up into me, you know, just burning. It's like more calm now, but that's like reaching, you know, my crown. And I've just been very, very, very scared lately and just like panic stricken. It feels kind of like death, you know, each time. And and I've seen your videos and I know that you just have to, you know, you bow and you give into it. and. You know, you, you just trust the process. But there is this there is this fear in me of dying and not, not just an ego death and coming back, just, you know, transform, but, to, you know, really dying. And I just feel like, you know, my place is on earth. You know, I want to do good things here. And, you know, I, I, I love my parents. And so I'm just, I don't know, there's just conflict in me. I'm constantly feeling this pressure in my, in my face. Like it's actually like kind of near my teeth or if there's some type of, really physiological thing going on. I've seen doctors and they say, oh, everything, everything is kind of fine. But I've been just so afraid, like just wondering, you know, what, what is really happening? And I had this experience with, with ayahuasca and it kind of just blasted, blasted me open. Yeah. If I had known that it would do that, I would not have done it at all. But I just went for some questions, you know, just like what's what's my purpose? But it's a long, yeah, it's a long, long spiel. I apologize, but I'm just. That's okay, Derek. So firstly, you don't have to be afraid because you can do something concretely to prevent this from going in directions which will then result in, you know, you having to take medication, which you of course don't want to, I presume. The thing is that the ayahuasca would have triggered the Kundalini because when you took the ayahuasca, you were not prepared for it in any way whatsoever, which is the case with most people who take it. And uh, there are, you know, many, many cases of people who have this triggering after that. What actually happens is, is that the ayahuasca would, would uh, try to prepare the body for something, but the ego of the person has not been trained to bend and or the person has not been trained to bend and so the ego causes blockages and the kundalini is trying to support the system of the person during that ayahuasca experience by attending to the traumas that the person has to endure during that experience but because the blockages are there because they've not been cleared through preparation which used to be the case in the past when people took that I mean, they were in surrendered states, they were trained to be in surrender by working with the shamans, by taking care of the shamans' families, or by actually serving the shamans. Their ego was broken down that way. And then the plant medicine was able to expose them to uh, truths about themselves. That's just by way of explanation. The most important thing is, you don't have to be afraid when it happens. Let it be bend. Just bend down into it. Just let it happen. Because you can't fight it. What you can do is, when it's not happening, those days and moments of your life, when it's not actually happening, you prepare your system by bending down, by taking real deep surrender action on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. This is if you want to allow the Shakti to flow without any blockage, which would mean there's no pain in the system, there's no friction, there's no heat. And the way to do that, the only way that is known here in any case, is to bend down every moment. That becomes your way of living. What do you do, Derek? Do you have a job? So right now I'm unemployed, but I was... I was working as a project manager in solar energy um, maybe a year ago, but I was I was let go. And but right now I just I've just been through this kind of big wave of it. I think it was triggered before, like um, when I was a child, something happened with with some individual, and I felt that um, like I, I thought I was going to die. Like I just felt 
this this deep deep shame and just this extreme fear that I was going to die, and then I just kind of obviously swept it under the rug like most people do. I mean, but I've always been very anxious and just kind of yeah, just very just very very sensitive. Um, so the question is, do you want to? bring yourself back to what I would call normalcy? Is that something you really want? I mean... I, I think this Shakti energy is a very beautiful thing in the end. I would actually, just, just to, you know, to have time to, to really prepare myself, you know, because... What do you want to prepare yourself for? Well, just, you know, so things go smoothly, you know, prepare my system, prepare, you know, my, my, my but mind. That's what I asked you. I asked you, do you want to come to a state of normalcy? Normalcy means where you don't have all these panic-ridden experiences. Yes, I would like that. Are you sure? Yes, yes, I, I, I just, I can't, I've been, you know, it's been difficult to function lately, so. Okay, so that means that you're ready to be, you're ready to um, undertake what is required within your means and possibility to bring your system to a state of normalcy, and that would include not trying to control the Kundalini Shakti, because you said earlier when I asked you, the Shakti is a beautiful thing and so there's a hankering for that experience, the nice part, but not for the other part, right? Yeah, it's just when it, I just felt like I was dying when it reached my crown, like I just felt so depressed, so, so bad. I'm asking you something precise. Are you hankering for the good part and not for the bad part? Because your answer was, um, was not very clear in the beginning, so I'm just asking you, try to understand what my mm -hmm. question is. Hankering, what do, you, what do you mean? Are you hankering for the positive experiences that you have with that Shakti in your system? Or are you uh, ready to just go back into a normal state where, like most human beings, you're doing what you have to do, you're living your life, you're doing your job, you have a partner, you have children, and you're there in a state of surrender, of functioning from the truth of your being. Is that something that appeals to you? Yes, to be back to normalcy, yes. Okay, so then, the steps are... One, go and watch all the videos on Kundalini that have been uploaded on YouTube, on our channel. Secondly, watch all the other videos because they talk about surrender. And if you do not understand surrender in a deeper way, it will be very difficult for you to come out of this story. Because it is a result of the system not knowing surrender and choosing to go more with the ego. It's when you go with the ego that these bigger waves happen in the system. And when you start to bend and you try to understand what is this surrender? What does it mean? How do I surrender? And, and you actually understand that surrender means discerning between the loud noise of the ego that's making you do things and that almost imperceptible impulse of the truth and going with that truth. That is what surrender is. So it's a daily practice, it's a moment-to-moment -moment practice, and for someone like you, it's not a choice, it's a must to do that. There are many people on this satsang who can still choose, because they don't have this. This is a special situation with the Shakti moving like that. And you don't have to be afraid. If you are in surrender, things will go smoothly. Attend every single live. Be there, listen, participate. It will keep you stable and steady as this thing slowly calms down. Come to an immersive in the physical presence, come to the open satsangs in India. You have to undertake something very concrete for this kind of thing to quiet down and for your system to normalize.
And that's very important. So now from every moment on, you're bringing yourself to this moment, you're being aware, why am I doing something? Whether it's brushing my teeth or eating a fruit or going for a walk, more and more it has to come from the truth impulse and not from the ego. The ego, of course, has its very subtle faces, but to start with, you go with the truth, and if the ego fools you, again you bend, again you go with the truth. It's a decision to live like that and to live like that lifelong. Once the Shakti is triggered like that, then you have to understand, and you were so right when you said, you know, that Ma, the Kundalini Shakti, is something amazing, it's something so positive for the system and, and important also but not in a triggered state, and especially not if there are blockages due to egoistic actions. Those blockages can be reduced, and you won't feel this friction, you won't feel the heat, you won't feel that knocking sensation in the head, you won't feel those things, because you're bending. And it's a lifelong thing. In fact, it's interesting, because just today, I was talking to somebody who had this 20 years ago, and for 20 years, they've had to live in the present moment, and they're doing very well. And sometimes when they give in to the ego, then again it starts. So don't be afraid, it will all be okay. That I can tell you. If you are ready to take the steps I have suggested here, it's only a bright future, nothing to be afraid of, at all. Is this something that you can sense? Is just just like from what I'm saying, or is it something you can actually sense from that you you see this in me? Or I see it in you. I can sense it. I know. But it will be all right. You don't have to worry. You just have to take up what I said. It was said in English. You understand English yes. uh, as, a, as a mother tongue, so um, there can't be any confusions there. Start to delve into this because otherwise. Um, there's not much, there aren't any cures for this, you know, other than surrender. Yes, okay, thank you. I'm just, I'm just afraid of, you know, when it does happen, and I'm, I don't know, I just, I'm, I just have this, this, this fear of like just becoming insane and afterwards. No, you I, won't become insane if you just listen to what I'm saying and go with it. I assure you, you won't become insane, but you have to bend. And it will go good because it's gone good for many others, you know. You won't go insane, it'll be fine. You're just very careful about what actions you take. Are you ready to do that? Yes, yes, yes. All right. So you just, will... Yes? No, it just seems like it's sometimes difficult, you know, even with my diet. I have an issue with my teeth all the time. I don't know if it's because of this energy or something that's... Uh, very well last... could be, yes. Things that are very healthy, like fruit, it's like, it's it's... You know, it's it's difficult to tolerate it, and these are the things that I, I know you need to be eating, you know, kind of more... Well, you don't have to eat anything which you can't tolerate. Not all the things that are said about food are true, that we all know, but also what... You know, all this whole foods madness, I mean, yes, whole foods are great, but sometimes a system is not able to tolerate certain foods. In fact, sometimes the system is not even able to tolerate organic foods versus non-organic foods. One has to be... one When it's about Kundalini, one is not in the realm of what is conceptually accepted to be healthy food, healthy eating, and all of those things. There are people who have lived for 10 and 15 years eating just one thing, once this Shakti is triggered, it's a different story. Just ask the Truth within. You can just take that apple and ask, is this the thing for me to eat? And then, you get an answer from your system. But you have to be disciplined. Either you're disciplined or you're afraid, you make the choice. Either you're disciplined or you're afraid. I think you would prefer to be disciplined. Nobody wants to live in fear. Take the food and ask the question, is this the thing for me to eat? Only you and your system know 
what is good for you to eat under such conditions. It might normalize with time, but right now, that's the approach. No fear, no fear. Don't be afraid, it won't... it won't do anything to you if you just quiet down and go with what I'm saying. You have a Truth at the center of your being, that's your Master, flow with it, ask the question, is this the thing to do? Is this the thing to eat? Is this the thing to wear? Is this the time to take a shower? Is this the time to, to brush my teeth? In the beginning, it's going to be a little difficult, it's challenging, but after a while, it'll start becoming second nature to you, and then gradually these symptoms will quiet down. Yes. It'll be fine, Derek, it'll be fine. You're not alone, you'll be fine, but you have to take up action now. Okay. Thank you, Mahadishka, uh, Namaskar, yes. and, uh, and Namaskar, I apologize to, to everyone for taking up so much time. No, you don't have to apologize, that's my decision. Namaskar. Namaskar. Namaskar, Derek.